All right, so um, we have our tax on the left pane. So let's see what our tax are. We have to add the minimum number of digs to the computer to create a read five array that meets the scenario requirement. Do not remove extra digs from the shell. Connect all the digs to the motherboard. Connect the power cables to the digs. Boot the computer into BIOS setting and configure a RAID array in the motherboard RAID configuration utility. So let's start up. All right. So the first thing we want to do is to check out our hard drives. We have four hard drives here, and we have four cables here. Very good. So let's go into our PC and check out what we have in the drive bay. All right. In the drive bay, there's space for two hard drives here, and then there's fixing the hard drives boom one two three hard drive remember the instruction says we should not remove the extra hard disks in the shelf we don't know the reason why they left this one out but follow the instructions anyway let's go ahead and plug in our cables the first data cable goes in here. Very good. The second data cable. Let's put in the second data cable. Very good. And the third data cable. Very good. Now let's go ahead and plug in the power cables to our hard drives. All right. So, um, we are let's go let's plug the hard drive first so we this is a sata cable and it is unconnected so let's plug it to a hard drive so let's go to the hard drive b and then we'll plug in this boom that is done and boom that is done this is unconnected Let's plug in this. Boom. That is done. All right. So let's go ahead and plug in the uh, data cables to the motherboard. Boom. And then we open our motherboard. And then this is unconnected. We connect it to this port. And then let's see which one is remaining. Uh, let's go to the hard drive base again. We've connected this. We've not connected this. So let's go to the motherboard and connect it. Boom! We go to the drive bay again. The third one is not connected. Click on it. We go into the motherboard and we connect this one that is not connected. All right. So that is done. Is there any other thing we need to do in the motherboard known for now? So we close up our mother, our PC. All right, so let's boot into the PC and do the remaining configurations. Okay, so why you boot in your PC, you have to press in Control I at the right time. All right, so our PC and we'll press F2 to go into the bio setting mode. So what we want to do now is to activate. We are in the BIOS mode. So what we want to do is to activate RAID. If you do not activate RAID, there's a caveat. If you do not activate RAID, you won't be able to get into the RAID setting mode. All right, so let's go to our system configuration here and then we'll go to SATA operation and we'll put on a RAID. So RAID is on. We click on apply. When we click exit, the system is going to restart. But while it's trying to restart, we're going to press Control I so that it takes us into RAID mode. So when you press Control I at the right time, it takes you straight into RAID mode. So we'll go ahead and press exit button. Exit button while pressing Ctrl I at the right time. So
So just about the last bar, that is when you put in your control I. All right, so I got it. Okay, so we are in the red mode and we are going to create red. So press enter and then let's start creating the red. All right, so we are in the last instruction. Boot the computer into bio setting and configure a red array in the motherboard reconfiguration using the up and then arrow select red based on the scenario requirements using the boot up boots using the up and down arrows configure read array to use a strip size of 128 kilobyte and all of the disk space on the installed disk so um for the name we are not told to name to give it any name so we'll press tab to go to the next option the next option is the read level so what is the read level here uh for the real level we are doing read five read five all right so it's gonna be read five read five so let's do read five here yeah. read five read read five all right we'll go to strip size 128 kilobytes this is correct and then we we'll move down again boom this is 16 uh 1616.5 gig capacity i need to change anything here So we have to use all of the space of the hard disk. So this is correct. And boom, we go ahead and we create both. Yes, it's gonna give you a couple of warning. All that unselected disks will be lost. Yes, so you press Y, boom, and that is done. So let's check if we omitted anything and everything is correct. All right, if this video has been helpful, consider liking, subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. I'll go ahead and score lab. And that is it, folks.